2020 vision. As y'all can see, they got the helicopters flying around out here in the Arlington area. We don't really know what's going on. We just reported live Tea Time News. We the first one on the set. Fuck NBC. Fuck uh, CBS. The local news. The local news channels. What's their names? Uh, fuck Rob Sweden. It's all about Irving and Tea Time News right now. They got somebody down there in a the red Cadillac. I don't know what's going on. About what? Eight police cars. Pastors. I'm in there trying to get some sleep. Next thing you know, we just hear sirens in the helicopter. Police got on some blue gloves down there. I don't know what's going on with him. I just hope that they could uh, find the suspect. Really hope nobody is in danger for real. You can hear the dogs barking. It's quiet right now, though. It's very quiet. So you got to see what's going on. We're going to be out here for a little bit. Helicopter flying around. <laughs> Look like they're searching the, um, that red Cadillac. Look like they finna clean that car out, man. They finna strip everything up out that vehicle. We ain't the only uh, nosy motherfuckers out here either. You got people sitting in the cars. They coming outside. They just sitting in the cars. We just reporting this shit. You know what I'm saying? Tea time news, baby. Look at them. First thing we're going to do is pray for everybody. Uh, hope that everybody is safe. That's the first thing we're going to do. Second thing, man, we just hope that, you know, whatever's going on, that it can be handled peacefully. We will hope that. We won't need no, you know, no more killings going on here in Jacksonville. And please don't let it be a police killing also. Breaking news, breaking news. They caught the suspect. They got him down on a hot ass pavement. I they had the uh, helicopters flying around, and they also had they had the helicopters flying around, and they had the uh, K9. Also, now they got the ambulance. They must have did something dangerous, something real bad to this guy. Got the fire department and the ambulance coming out here now. Yeah, this is Irving reporting from Tea Time News. Got the suspect down on the ground. He's still down on the ground. He look like that shit's burning. Look like the shit is burning. I feel his pain because it's hot out here. They had the K-9 out here and the helicopter flying around. Now they got the ambulance out here trying to uh, make sure <laughs> this nigga. Yeah, they making sure this nigga is healthy before he go to jail today, guys. <laughs> they finna get him a physical. <laughs> they not letting nobody down the road also, man. They're not letting anyone down the street. We're the only news cast here. Now they're about to put the suspect up on the stretcher. Take him to the local hospital, hopefully. Make sure he's all right. A nigga probably got a heat burn, heat rash out here or something like that. Today is it's too hot to do a crime today, guys. Too hot to do a crime. I don't know what he was thinking about. There's a suspect finna get on the stretcher. They got him in handcuffs. They got him in handcuffs and everything. Suspect is getting on the stretcher. Like I say, he's a Caucasian male. We gonna get this out there. He's Caucasian. He isn't a African American. He's Caucasian. We all knew if this was an African American male, how this shit would have ended, anyways. It wouldn't be a stretcher. It would be a, a funeral home out here also. I think the guy was hiding between these houses over here. Um, the helicopter kept flying over, and I could tell that the, it was getting lower and lower. Then he was at an idle for about 15 seconds. He just stood, he was just standing there. It was just right there over my head while I'm just sitting here trying to be nosy. It's crazy to take all of those people to put him on the stretcher and get this man to the hospital. All right, so we just got word from... Uh, uh, work from uh, someone that lives out here in this area, in this neighborhood. The suspect, we just got word that this guy has robbed the bank and tried to get away in a stolen vehicle, that red Cadillac down there. 
Um, sounds like there's more ambulance coming and everything right now. So I guess he need. Yep, there's more police and everything coming right now. Speeding right now while we're on the scene. Uh oh, somebody in the back seat. They already got one of them in the back seat. They they found his uh his partner, I guess, partner in crime. Oh, one second. One second. You say what now, sir? Found a guy in my backyard in my pool shed. Really? Yeah, really? I can't even they get. This is they found him in his. Did they tell you what he did? They didn't tell me what he did. I haven't gotten that far yet. But the house. It's my house. Oh, okay. They found him in the. the you ain't heard of that, pool, right? Everything's pool, all right. The pool room. Nah, nah, nah. It was, I just got a call, um, saying that. Um, oh, so you wasn't even home? No, nah, I wasn't. My partner's home, and I got this. Okay, zoom in on this right there. There it is. So this is at your home. Okay, get in the mic. I got a um, seven foot fence around the house. He went over the fence and they found him in the, the pool shed. Oh man. I heard that uh, they say that the that he robbed the bank and had a stolen, that stolen vehicle right down there. There's a red Cadillac down there. Right there. If you look to your left. Okay. Yeah. So he went, he went through the two houses. And went over the yeah, and then um, there's someone else in, the, in that SUV or something like that in that police vehicle right there in the back seat handcuffed. Well, what's your name? I'm sorry. Dan Duffy. All right, Mr. Duffy. It was nice meeting you, man. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Good luck to you.